Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obdub Tato. This is Jurassic World Evolution with the brand new DLC, Return to Jurassic Park. Uh, we are currently, we are currently on the main island, the island that was also oh ravaged in the uh, the original Jurassic Park movie, and uh, we are now at a stage where we can start reintroducing the OG dinos, uh, OG dinos to uh, to the park, and uh, indeed we are going to do that. So uh, the way that I understand it is that all of the dinosaurs are actually uh, reared, incubated on the other island, Isla, Isla Soma, and then they're just sort of uh, transported over here via helicopter through the arrival helipad. So we need to add Triceratops, Diplophosaurus, and uh, Parasaurolophilus. Uh, that is the way that you say it. Uh, don't ask a paleontologist, though, because they will tell you it's not. I, however, am right. Anyway, uh, Triceratops is, uh, is, is, uh, is vegetarian. Uh, or vegan, I don't know. Dilosophosaurus, I think, is a, a, a car carnivorous, a carnivorous beast. Yes, indeed, it is. And then a para far, paralophilosaurus is also a is also a uh, a veggie eater. Dead dinosaur. That ain't so hot. What's going on? You are hunted down by uh, by a fellow dinosaur. Okay, that's fine. I mean, what are the what's the situation over here? The situation over here looks very Vegetarian? Ah, yeah, we've already got some Diphilophilosphosauruses in here. So that's cool. Why don't we try and- why don't we put, try and put the carnivores over there? We'll try and put the Triceratops over here, and then we'll put the rest of the veggies. Yeah, the rest of the Paralophilosauruses in the, uh, in the other zone. Okay, so how do- how do we- how do we do this? Let's, uh, let's just- let's just do- let's just do these things first. In fact, why don't we just try one of each? We'll just do one of each. We will remote hybrid. Can we get any upgrades? We can actually get some upgrades. Incubation speed. I mean, I am interested in incubation speeds. Uh, however, we are now out of power. No substation. Power consumption is zero. I mean, well, that ain't, that ain't the greatest. Let me see if I can put down some pylons. Bim. There we go, just like that, and that should that should fix the situation right up. Unused power, 59. Yep, perfect, absolutely perfect. Also, let's get rid of that dead dino. It's uh, it's not good for uh, for tourism to to see a to see a dead dinosaur. Yeah, turn that into turn that into I don't know some I don't know turn it into like lasagna or something. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Human edible lasagna. Right. How are the incubations going? 31%, 20%. Why why is it so why is it so slow? Success rate. Uh can we just get more incubation modules? More incubation speed modules? Research required. Yeah, I might uh, I might actually get some. I might actually get some uh, some more modules researched, but that's that's not a problem for now. Dead dinosaur is still dead? Or is it another dead dinosaur? Also, this this dinosaur is tranquilized. This is the one that I that I uh, that I tranquilized to take the photo with. He's probably not looking so hot at the moment. Yeah, he's um he's in a little state of uh state of disarray at the moment because I tranquilized him. That's entirely my bad, honestly, my dude. Look, just pick him up, put him down, and uh, and that'll be fine. If we do that, then he should uh, he should waken right up. Somebody's on low health, and I would bet that it's the it's the dinosaur that I just tranked. Yeah, it is indeed the dinosaur that I just tranked. I say just tranked. I tranked like in episode one, I think, in order to get a good uh, a good shot. Right, Triceratops. Is it just one Triceratops that we're after? Ready for delivery? Brilliant. Request delivery. I would like to request delivery to the Triceratops enclosure. Fantastic. And that's it. Apparently, we just need one. Let me do the Parasophilophilus as well. That looks like it's going to be coming along reasonably quickly, which is fantastic. Now, this arrival helipad, I was under the impression that this was, uh... I was under the impression that this was for visitors. I didn't think that it was for dinosaurs as well, but, I mean, if it is, then that's, then that's great. Oh, here's the helicopter. I mean... Surely it... Surely it wasn't transported untranquilized. Surely not. I simply don't believe it. I simply do not believe it, but you know what? Maybe it was. 
Maybe I made a grave error. Maybe I should have uh, stuck in the Paralophosaurus uh, thingamabobber before before the other one. Uh, what I was gonna say, it probably. I have no idea. I have no idea what determines the speed of incubation. Originally, I was thinking, oh, perhaps maybe it's the complete genome, but I don't think it is. The more that I look at that. Also, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the opportunity to see if I can. Can I send out any expeditions? No, I need to uh, I need to build the appropriate module in the visitor center. Let me construct the fossil module and the expedition module as well. Fantastic. Our dinosaurs ready to go. Brilliant. Request delivery. Stick it down right over yonder. And I think that's it. I actually think that that's that's it. Dinosaur tour is going to be complete as soon as we get that. Uh, that Paralophosaurus thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm not entirely convinced that I love the look of my park. I'm not entirely sure that I like the design. I kind of do like the idea that, uh, you know, we we have the uh, we have the, the carnivorous... The carnivorous Velociraptors and Dilophosauruses. What was that noise? I, I kind of like them. I kind of like the fact that we have them locked safely behind uh, electrified fences. That's that's absolutely something that we need to make sure that uh, remains the same, because otherwise, otherwise, uh, we're uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have dinosaurs eating us. Ooh, what is this? I don't know. I don't know if any of our future missions are going to be are going to be to research some more some more dinosaurs, but I'll send out the dig teams right now so that we can get a head start on that. No fossils at present. Cool, and our last dinosaur is ready for delivery. Stick it down over here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll need a tour, of course. No, not this. Uh, trust me, those cars are no match for a T-Rex. Ah. We will make sure it's done right. You can't always live in the past. This whole island is one big monument to the past. When I studied to be a paleontologist, the chance of me ever seeing a living dinosaur was nil. The chance that I'd have to run for my life from one, even less than that. And now we are putting the public within biting range of them. You're right, Al. Hammond's gonna do this whether we approve or not. So we have to make sure every measure is being taken. Yeah, right, absolutely. We need the dinosaurs safe. Yep. And the people even safer. Cool. Mr. Kevin, I assume you'll want to test the tour personally. That's not really part of my job description. We should make sure that the tour ride allows guests to see all the dinosaurs. They should experience the wonder of this place. And not the terror that we have. <laughs> that goes without saying. I'm saying it anyway. All right, cool. Cool. Mission Triceratops can be seen from the tour. Everything needs to be seen from the tour. Okay, research binoculars to extend the range of tour vehicles. Too much damage to vehicles from dangerous dinosaurs will cause the park tour to enter an emergency shutdown and require a ranger team to reopen it once the danger has passed. Okay, fine. I mean, how on earth do I build the tour in the first instance? Visitor center and the helipad, we've already got the park tour. Right. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I think that, that this is the, uh, the start of it right over here. So maybe we can link it up to an already existing point. Yeah, maybe we can link it up to an already existing point. Does it look like the... Does it look like... Yeah, it looks like the tour comes right out of here. So, if I can... If I can very, very simply... Put it, like, over here somewhere? Can I put it... Can I put it there, yeah? Yeah, stick it there link up to the beginning of the of the park tour course brilliant okay so we need to ensure that the triceratops are seen we need to basically make sure that we go through absolutely every single enclosure i'm not sure how i feel about going through a raptor enclosure to be honest but you know needs must i guess right right we're gonna go deep into the heart of the the vegetarian dinosaur land because they're not really that dangerous Track is incomplete. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't go through a gate. Can we go through not a gate? Uh, tour track. 
to her gate. Curve is too sharp. Okay, hold on. Let me let me take that back a little bit, and then let's have a have another crack. Uh, how do I get back into edit park route? There we go. Brilliant. Okay, so we're gonna have a specific a specific Velociraptor route. This seems unbelievably dangerous. But I'm willing to do it for the sake of entertainment, because I'm all about that entertainment. Right, now we need to go and find some Triceratops. Is this dangerous to have... to have the cars just out in the open? I have absolutely no idea. But that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I mean, I'm not super thrilled at that route. Um... Maybe it should go around the inside of the fence, but you know, I'm pretty confident anyway that that's gonna be fine uh, No substation. Let's get the substation linked up. I mean if you were a tourist would you would you take a take a trip around my Jurassic Park tour? I mean, I probably wouldn't let's be let's be brutally honest. I, I just probably wouldn't Give me a substation right there. Fantastic Yeah, maybe maybe I should have maybe I should have put it around Maybe I should put it around the inside of the uh, the enclosure. Although, in saying that, all I need to do, all I need to do is just is just erect some fences around the route that the car takes. If it turns out to be too dangerous, and look, if a couple of tourists end up getting eaten, then as far as I'm concerned, that's just not my problem. Right, research binoculars. Let's go into research and let's. Uh, where is it? Enclosures, binoculars. Fantastic. Fossils, let's get the fossils extracted. That's a T-Rex. I'm almost convinced that there will be a mission that says, hey, you need to add uh, the T-Rex to an enclosure. And that is gonna scare the absolute living heck out of me. What is, what is going on? Somebody's got a disease. Who's got a, who's got a disease? Common cold. Okay, well, I actually know how to fix that problem now. So let's go and research the common cold vaccination thing. Uh, do I have the common cold? I do not have... I've already got the common cold. Cool. Uh, Ranger team, be dispatched. Be dispatched. Add a task. Medicate. Confirming task. Medicate both people who have the common cold. Both, not, not people, dinosaurs that have the common cold. Okay. Binoculars, almost done, presumably. Yeah, very, very close to being completed. Fantastic. Also, uh, I discovered late on into the last episode that we can actually get a storm center built and protect at least some of our buildings from somewhat of a storm surge. So let's do that. Let's get that down. The storm building doesn't actually give me early warning of the storms. It just protects the, uh, it just protects, it, it protects the, uh, protects the buildings a little bit better. Right, a building is damaged. What building? Oh, substation three. That's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. As soon as the ranger car has uh, sorted that out, then... Uh, in fact, I think we can actually just get you straight away. Medicate. Medicate you. Yep. And then go and repair that substation. Fantastic. Fantastic. What? New viable genome, fantastic. Also, I should absolutely keep up the pace with, uh... Not with looking at fossils, but with sending expeditions around the map. There's no reason to stop now. Just just go everywhere that we possibly can. Everywhere that we possibly can, and that will uh, eventually result in a few more uh, dinosaur genomes and whatnot. Triceratops can be seen from the tour range. Uh, why can nothing else be seen from the tour range? Parasophilophilus? Can I take a- can I take a test ride on this tour? Ride the park tour, yeah, I wanna ride the park tour. I mean, let me see if I can edit the route to see if we can get a little bit closer. It seems that- it seems... It seems that we just need to get just that little bit closer to the, uh... To the Paralophosophidosauruses. Okay. There we go. 
Yeah, look, they're they're here. The para the Paralophosauruses. They're there. They absolutely should be there. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to go into the enclosure for the Diplo Dino things. Oh, look! By the way, they're they're on route. They're on route. Fantastic. All right, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. I'm delighted that that is actually that that is actually working. We've got binoculars, if I'm not mistaken, don't we? Right, we do indeed. I don't know how much how much it extends the the range of the visible uh, the the visible the visible range of the cars. Mission Diplophosauruses can be seen from a tour. Brilliant! They actually got seen. Fantastic. So now we just need to wait for these cars to get round to round to this area. And this area is, I mean, it's lush, lush with dinosaurs. Look at them. Look at them. You get right up close and personal. Except don't get too close to the Brachiosauruses, because they might actually legitimately stomp all over the uh, the cars. So are we literally are we literally just waiting for the park tour to get all the way over there? I think we are. I think we legitimately are. Uh, fine, because that gives me an opportunity to do a little bit more administration. Uh, we can get some more... Some more... Some more dinosaurs over here. Triceratops... I mean, I need to find, I need to find more Tyrannosaurus Rex stuff. Nothing, nothing more on the T-Rex? No, nothing, no other dig is going to give me access to the T-Rex, but that's fine. It, just continue to extract the DNA from absolutely everything here. Yeah, that's fine. I have absolutely no idea what that dinosaur actually is. Similarly with that one, but we'll just queue it up. We'll just queue it up and get it done. Goodness me, this tour isn't half slow, is it? Golly gosh. That's fine. Anyway, we've got the storm center up. Reduces uh, storm damage by 40% in a large area. So that includes the arrival the arrival, uh, the arrival arrival helipad, includes the ranger station, and it includes the power station. All of which is, a, is I would say, key infrastructure. The park tour over on the other side, uh, over, over on the other side of the park, really not that essential. Not that essential, even slightly. Yeah, quite happy, quite happy, quite happy with that. Cool. Also, something else which I should have a look at. Jurassic Park Gate, Jurassic Park Tour Track. What's the difference between... What's the difference between concrete tour track and just tour track? Is there any difference? I don't know, and I don't want to mess around with it too much, just in case we don't end up getting the, uh, the current mission completed. Why don't I go and have a little look and see what I can research? See if I can have a little look to see if there's anything else to research. Zero items available. Zero items available apart from all of the medical stuff. Right, we'll get on that in just a second. Mr. DNA. I love Mr. DNA. He's my inspiration. A true hero. Right, grand. I literally think that we're just waiting for this for this park tour to finish up now. And any moment now, I'm sure these uh, these cars. Oh look, we can see the uh, we can see the area of effect that they that they see. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. That's great. But I can't see the specific cars, can I? No. It's so close, it's so close. Let's extract some more DNA. No idea what that is. No idea what that is. Today, we invite the rest of the world to experience the wonder of Jurassic. Isn't that the truth? Hey kids, look, dinosaurs. And this time, it's mostly safe, probably. And if you survive, you can buy a T-shirt. There's a compliment in there somewhere. We're not out of the jungle just yet. Let's see how the park gets along, John. And at the first sign of trouble... I know, I know. Remember, I've encouraged your skepticism. And seeing people eaten by prehistoric creatures pretty much solidified it. And now you know why I keep young Cabot around. Speaking cool. of which, have any of you esteemed doctors laid eyes on my intern recently? Hmm. You'd think this is something he wouldn't want to miss. Yes. Yes, you would. I honestly thought. So who is going to take care of his tasks then? 
honestly thought that uh, the park was already open, given that we had an extensive amount of income from ticket sales. Maybe this was just, like, pre-ticket sales? I, I don't actually know. Uh, maintain an 85% food rating, drink rating, shopping rating, and restroom rating, all of which I can definitely do. Now, I did, uh, I did ascertain earlier that, uh, that the restroom, the restroom is the very restroom that, uh, that, uh, that What's-His-Chops got killed in by a T-Rex, you know, as he, as he locked himself in a stall? Also, we should get some, we should get some signs. Oh, yeah, we should get some signs that show what, uh, what the, what's in, what's in a specific enclosure. That's absolutely what I'm interested in doing. Okay, well, we should start to see some guests roaming around, which is, uh, which is just exactly what we want to see happen. There we go. We'll get a couple of, we'll get a couple of little tiki huts around. Which way do they go? Did I, did I put it around the wrong way? Did I put it around the wrong way over here? No, I put it around the right way. Cool. And then we'll stick one over, one over in this zone as well. Right over there. Fantastic. Okay, so now we need to try and sort out our food rating, drink rating, and shopping. Right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We've got a hotel. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hotel. Uh, hotels increase island visitor capacity, allowing more guests to stay in the park comfortably. Heavily overcrowded park will have a poor capacity rating until the visitor capacity is increased. That's absolutely fine with me. Also, I'll talk more about these three little bars uh, in, in a second. Suffice to say, at the moment, all you need to know is that these bars will sort of measure how successful we are in completing specific contracts. And this is a little overview of, uh, of, how, of how good our park actually is and how fun and exciting it is to, uh, to come and visit. Anyway, let's get some research done. So I think that we should be able to get some more buildings researched, if I'm not mistaken. Visitor building for a cafe. Yep. A gift center and a restroom. I thought we already had restrooms. I just... I started placing them down because I was super confident that that's uh, what we were supposed to do. But apparently, no. My, uh... My eagerness will now be punished. We're gonna have too many decorative tiki huts just, uh... Just lying around the area. That's fine, I guess. That's, that's okay. Uh, shopping rating, restroom rating. We are going to have to get the gift center as well. That's totally fine. Yeah, what what the heck? Pretty sure this is a toilet. I just don't know if it's, if it's actually usable. All right. Let's go in and see if we can do some more research. There we go. Get the, get the gift center done. Building upgrades. What have we got? Success rates. Incubation speed. Let's get incubation speed and... Uh, and hatchery rate done as well. No particular rush to get that done, but that's that's not a problem. We can research some more fossils. Carnivore pack. Cool. I do actually want to try and get some more stuff done. Some more genes. Ooh, yes. Genes are going to become, I suspect, the new big thing. We've completely researched absolutely every single thing in the buildings section. That's fine. Uh, ground carnivore feeder tall herbivore feeder. Let's get both of those done as well, because we, we had the tall herbivore feeder over on, uh, on Isla Soma, but now we don't. Now we don't over here, apparently. The technology just, just isn't there. Right, okay. Uh, let's get a cafe. Let's get a cafe. The first instance of the cafe should probably be over here. Yeah, I kind of want all the cafes and the gift shops to be reasonably near the park tour thing. And uh, the restrooms as well, which I was completely under the impression that I'd already built. Sure, let's get a let's get a couple of restrooms. Bums on seats. Okay, so this is the first specific contract that we uh, that we've gotten from John Hammond. Now, uh, now when we take a when we take a when we take a contract for a specific person, our reputation with that person will increase for the better if we complete the contract. So in this occasion, it's going to increase our, our yellow bar over here down in the down in the bottom right hand corner, which is John Hammond's bar apparently. Uh, we're going to get a cash reward of that. Increase your guest count to three hundred total guests. Fine. Absolutely, I will do that. Now, we're going to get offered contracts. We're going to get offered contracts, which, uh, might as well ditch these, these things. Uh, we're going to get offered contracts, which will, uh, which will impact our, our, uh, 
our favor with different people. So we might get offered a contract that uh, increases our favor with John Hammond, but uh, might decrease our favor with uh, with someone else. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, restroom rating, shopping well rating. I knew you had what Is that it? I, how many how many people are here? I I I, I literally have no idea. I, I I literally and figuratively have absolutely no idea how many people are here. That's a T Rex, by the way, which I just. Uh, Ceratosaurus? I don't actually know. No, that's not a T-Rex, but it, it looks like a T-Rex. <laughs> Woo! That's cool. Let's extract the DNA of absolutely everything and wait for a second contract. Wait for a second contract. Okay, so apparently we need to... Apparently we need to try and get some more... Some more cafes. Maybe... Maybe we stick some cafes near... The arrival helipad? How about that? That seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Jurassic gifts. Yeah, get your get your partner a gift on the on the way to the to the exit helipad. Absolutely. And we'll have a little restroom in the middle there, just in case anyone is interested in uh, in going to the toilet before they hop on a helicopter to fly back to the mainland. It's pretty simple. Pretty darn simple. We'll do that, and that should sort us out in terms of food and drink rating. I hope. Or maybe it will not. Wonderful. Okay. Restroom 2. Let's bump up the... Yeah, let's bump up the staff in each shop. So that we will... T-Rex curing. We don't even have any T-Rex. Shopping rating, sell for. Sell for one dollar? Life size cutout, sell that for a dollar. Sure. Jurassic Cafe, put the staff up. There we go, fresh fruit platter. Gourmet sea bass. Okay, will any of that make any difference on our uh, on our food rating? I'm okay losing money, to be honest. So it turns out we don't actually need lots of cafes. We just need uh, we just need a few. We just need one, and then uh, and then we're now sorted. Now we've reached the inevitable moment when art becomes commerce with Finch nowhere to be seen. We knew that John was running a business. The dinosaurs should be a gift to the world. Somebody pays, Dr. Grant. Somebody always pays. Let's get a hotel then, because apparently that seems like the right thing to do. I have absolutely no idea where all my money's coming from, because I seem to be making a ridiculous amount. Our profit per minute is that much money already? Wowzers. That seems a little bit ridiculous. I don't understand. I do not understand what uh, what I've done to deserve this, but I'm very, very happy that that's the case. Anyway, uh, I was going to go to the expedition map, send out a couple more expeditions. Sure. See if we've got any more fossils. We ain't got no fossils to get through. Profit per minute. I'm hoping that the hotel can uh, can boost the profit. There we go. Give me some money. Give me some money. That already seems to be going pretty darn well. Wonderful. Uh, the hotel capacity... Park overcrowding is now 9%. Is that going to reduce... Is that... I mean, how can I find out what my visitor capacity actually is? Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea. However, let me see if I can uh, reduce my... Reduce my expenses somewhat. My expenses are actually not super high and in fact they basically don't cost anything they basically don't even cost anything the attraction running cost costs a bit but we're we're gonna we're gonna make our money by uh by literally just getting more people onto the island that's exactly it that is absolutely how we're gonna do it uh facility rating okay capacity poor variety of dinosaurs but i mean who really cares who really cares 
Guest injury, shelter protection, none. I do have shelter protection. I do have shelter protection. That's, that's not a problem, though. I do need to get some more dinosaurs. I do need to get some more dinosaurs. My dinosaurs, my dinosaurs do leave a lot to be desired. Absolutely agree. Uh, still not entirely sure how the hotel works, but you know what? I, I can't hurt to plonk down another hotel, can it? Dinosaur visibility is high. You're gosh darn right dinosaur visibility is high. There we go. Wonderful. Yeah, don't actually know what capacity is, but I feel like that number should be probably more front and center than it is. See this? Reputation? Yeah, we're, we're working on it. No contracts at the moment. Island rating. Guest count 384. No idea. Right, more fossils are done. Let's uh, let's go back to the map. See if we can place some more dig teams on the map. Just keep on going to every every here what place because I'm not particularly bothered about where the dig teams are going as long as they are always sort of out and about getting stuff done. All right, profit profit per minute's in a pretty good place. That's fine. Restroom, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we cannot, uh, we can't charge for the restroom. That's, that's deeply disappointing. Deeply, deeply, deeply disappointing. Alright, see if we can, see if we can start making some, uh, some killer profits on, uh, Yeah, see if we can make some killer profits on some merch. How about that? Jurassic Cafe. Life-size cutout, T-Rex curing, self for like loads and loads of money. We want to max out, max out our money, give or take. There we go, fourteen dollars. Sure. I take care of the people who take care of me. Yep. And Increase the uh, the island rating. We'll absolutely do that. We're on it. I think you should take it. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay, life-size cutout, T-Rex curing. Sell for 300, yeah, 300, 314, that's fine. There we go, and one member of staff, that seems totally reasonable. And over here, gourmet sea bass, stick the fresh fruit platter on. And see if we can squeeze out 750, 800 bucks. Uh, 780, 780, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Okay, cool. We're almost to the 350,000 profit. We're, uh, we're not far off. We're not far off at all. We do need to try and get some more dinosaurs. Dinosaurs up and running. Dinosaurs up and running is kind of what we're after. We need to get some more dinosaur variety. Uh, so let's see if we can try and plant some dinosaurs on the, uh, on the island. Maybe even get ourselves a brand new enclosure. That would be quite nice. Don't really know where we're gonna put it, but uh, but hey ho. I think it should be a carnivorous, a carnivorous enclosure, probably over here somewhere. I I, I feel like this area is is just ripe for a T Rex. Why don't we try that? Why don't we try a, a T Rex over here? Right. Uh, space toggle the curve. Fantastic. Oh look at that. Look at that. Wonderful. All the way back right over to the to the diply diply doo doo enclosure over here perfect which means that we're going to be able to capitalize on the fact that there's a little bit of track round over round over here already uh, so we can we can go and order in some brand new dinosaurs what do we want what do we want a spinosaurus i mean i kind of want a, something which will live oh, it's gotta be it's gotta be there it, it, it looks kind of like a t-rex i don't think it is a t-rex tyrannosaurus rex we're only 37 percent towards the genome ceratosaurus let's get uh let's get a ceratosaurus a spinosaurus looks quite looks quite good it's gonna cost me 1.1 million so let's do that let's do two two dinosaurs for 1.1 million i don't know if they are particularly particularly good but uh but we'll get them done anyway 
Also, let's bump up the incubation speed for absolutely everything here because I want to make sure that we're incubating as fast as possible. Don't really care about the success chance of dinosaurs uh, of, of dinosaurs hatching properly. I mean, I suppose I do if they cost me 1.1 million and uh, and they fail, but that's okay. Hatchery success rates. Let's get that done. Any other research that I particularly care about doing? Herbivore pack. Sure. Do the herbivore pack. Genetic mutations. Look, I do want to do genetic mutations. I absolutely want to do genetic mutations, but I don't want to get into it right now. Don't want to get into it right now at all, because that is just going to be... That is going to be a wormhole within which I'm going to be sucked. And, uh, you know, as much as I as much as much I do want to do that, I, uh, I don't want to do that. Okay. So, what we're after, really, we've got great safety, great capacity, great satisfaction, great visibility. It's literally just the fact that, uh, that we don't have uh, a large variety of dinosaurs. So that's what we're going to try and do. Also, what else I want to try and do is get a large feeder. Oh, we've already got a large feeder over here. Yeah. We've already got a large feeder over there. I didn't think we did have a large feeder, but that's, that's completely fine. Ah. That is, that is a one million dollar failure. I guess we're going to try and not do that again. Maybe we'll try and get the success rate increased. There we go. I know that's just cost me a heck of a lot of money, but uh, viability is 81% now, so we should theoretically absolutely make that happen very very cool okay let's go back to the expedition map see if we can try and get some more dinosaurs right and i think this yeah i think this uh this enclosure is going to be absolutely perfect for the for the spinosauruses yeah absolutely very very happy with that in fact i'm just very happy with i'm very happy with everything that's going on right now to be honest we're uh, we're in a pretty darn good place Pretty darn good place. Fossils. How are we doing fossil-wise? Nothing, nothing fossilly to report. Expeditions are uh, are underway to try and get us some more some more bits and bobs, which is grand. Park rating two point nine. How do I make the welfare better? Is there any way in which I can any which I any which way that I can make the welfare better? I mean, how's everyone? How's everyone's comfort? Everyone's comfort seems okay, to be honest. We have a little look at the map, where I can briefly just overview everyone's comfort. Oh, you need to be moved. You need to absolutely be moved into another enclosure. Yeah, okay, I'm going to set up to get you tranked in just a second here, because your health's quite, uh, quite low. Everyone's comfort over here seems to be completely fine. Your comfort doesn't seem to be super duper high. Right, well what I can do in order to fix that, I can uh, stick in a forest. Right, and that should make, that should make everyone a heck of a lot happier, right? I can't even, can't even see these, I can't even see the dinosaur bodies to click now. Yeah, look at that, comfort way up, wonderful. Brilliant. So that's going to help me with welfare just that little bit more, which is good because we want to increase our welfare rating. Uh, Ranger team, yet yeah, you are going to need to go and tranquilize. Not the Triceratops, I'm afraid. The... Yeah, here you are. No, that's not you. I'm sure there was a... I'm sure there was a, a Diplo... Oh, it's over here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you need to be tranquilized, I'm afraid. The animals yeah. are starving. This no, there's one animal. animal that... There's one animal that is starving. I'm worried that we don't have enough genetic information to start increasing the dinosaur population. Right, tranquilize. Not the Triceratops. Where is it? Yeah. Well, the, spina, the Spinosaurus genome. As it turns out, Dr. Doctor Grant, I'm actually already in the uh, the Spinosaurus game, as you could say. 
Uh, and it's cost me, it's cost me 3.6, 3.6 million to get to this point. So I guess you could say that I'm invested. You could say that I'm invested. I'm very, very much invested, to be honest. Very, very much invested. Let's go and have a little look at our fossils. Ooh, stegosauruses. I do want to get some stegosauruses. They, they're pretty cool. Uh, okay, let's go back to the back to the expedition map. See if we can try and get some Spinosaurus. In fact, they were in Egypt, weren't they? Yeah, Tunisia. And and Egypt. Well, there we go. Uh, yeah, so we'll try and get some more some more Spinosaurus genome so that we can try and get those uh, get those planted. You have just been tranquilized. Fantastic. Profit per minute. Solving dinosaur welfare issues would improve your profit per minute. Don't tell me. Don't tell me about dinosaur welfare issues. I am intimately familiar with all of the dinosaur welfare issues right, and you need to be dropped off over here there we go so we can finally move the lonely the lonely diflosaurus to its proper location yep absolutely that's grand and then we can probably go and medicate him if we go and medicate him, then he'll be up to he'll be up to full HP. Brilliant. Okay, let's uh, let's have a little look at this. Let's see if we can try and get the Spinosaurus into the appropriate into the appropriate enclosure. The enclosure that we wanted to go into is this one over here. Brilliant. That's right. That's right. That's gonna in that's gonna hopefully improve my rating. It's going to mean that I have more design, uh, dinosaur variety. Dinosaur variety. Okay. I don't know how many, I don't know how many Spinosauruses I actually need in order to make a happy little Spinosaurus community. Right. Also, whilst I'm over here, might as well take the opportunity. Where is a Spinosaurus? Spinos, Spinos, Spinosauruses? Do I not have a sign for a Spinosaurus? That's not a problem. I can put one down. Oh, I've already got one over here. I think. Does that say Diplo? It does say Diplo, 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 That's fine. Okay, anyway. Let me... Oh my goodness. Oh, this thing is huge! Missing grassland. You've got... Oh, boy. All right. I immediately regret my uh, my decision. If one of those guys gets uh, gets out... Given their size, these dinosaurs... Then we're in really trouble. Need room. Make sure you're providing enough space for them. Uh, make sure I'm providing enough space for them? Yeah, how do I get more... How do I get more grasslands? I need... I need more grasslands. I've got too much, too much forest. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that's good. That's good news. Brilliant. Improved output and hatchery capacity now available. Comfort is ninety-seven. Comfort is ninety-five. It's the grassland issue, isn't it? Excuse me. Brilliant. Right, I will absolutely take up that next mission. Mr. Hammond says we need more attractions in the park. Living dinosaurs aren't enough. Of course they attract attention, Dr. Grant, but once people see what they can't believe they're seeing, they've seen it. I am honestly trying to follow you. People always want more. The dinosaurs should be enough. Maybe we can give them a new one. Well, let's go for the commies. They're relatively harmless, right? Really, Alan? Nothing here is harmless. Now, if we could only make Mr. Hammond believe that. Oh yeah, look at this. Wetland, yes. Forest, yes. Grassland, yes. Food, water, fantastic. And social looks to be just about right as well. So as long as we just get a feeder, which should not be too darn difficult, uh, what do they eat? I think they eat live? Fish feeder? I mean, what do these guys eat? They eat, they eat fish, and they eat, uh, carnivore stuff. 
maybe having two in the same enclosure, maybe not a great idea. Please don't start fighting, guys. I spent 2.4 million on you. All right, that that's fine. It looks like they had a little tiff, and and now that they're sort of, now they're sort of chilling out a little bit. Grand. Okay, well let's stick down a fish feeder. Wonderful. And let's stick down a carnivore feeder over in the uh, the grasslands. I think that that should still give everyone exactly what they need. Perfect. Look at that beast. That is wonderful. Okay, and just like that, we managed to increase our uh, our rating by 0.4 stars. Yeah, so I think we should still... We should probably still have fairly low variety, but, um, but that's fine. Anyway, go back to the Spinosaurus map. Yeah. Island rating, great welfare, lovely, poor variety, uh, and 30 dinosaurs. Cool. Well, let's, uh, let's see if we can try and improve our variety slightly. Uh, if we improve our variety slightly, then I will be a very, very happy man. I mean, looking looking at it, we're not far off. We're not far off our, uh, our point two of a star needed to take us to the next level. Yeah, so just that just that extra point five of a star, and uh, and we are completely, completely, completely sorted, which is uh, which is absolutely wonderful. Grand. Okay, let's go back. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, we did say that we. Where, how did where did my stars all go? Where did my stars all go? What's going on here? Research item from the research center. Comp so some saurus and light cable fence. Okay, well we'll do both of those bits right now. Why don't we? Uh, comp, comp, Compasaurus, brilliant, and then a light cable fence as well. Enclosures, light cable defense, fantastic. A ground carnivore feeder, high capacity version of the ground carnivore feeder. Oh, okay. I don't think I particularly care about getting that sorted, but that's that's completely fine. Uh, also, let's go into the fossil room and see what else we've got. Let's get the Spinosaurus stuff done as soon as we possibly can. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Wonderful. And continue continue the uh, the fossil excavations looks like we don't have enough fossil capacity actively incubating even more carnivores are we dr Saturn? i need the genome first at least enough to fill in the gaps of a copy i knew what he was doing all right reached out to you what does that mean with all due respect dr sattler you're a zealot like he is no offense i didn't realize believing in something was a weakness if my belief ensures the health and safety of life on this island, be it dinosaur, human, or even a tiny little plant, then that's all that all right. matters to me. Say, have you ever heard of summit fever, Dr. Santa? In mountaineering, it's what gets climbers killed. The desire, the um, compulsion, if you will, to reach the top becomes more important than anything else. More important okay. than survival. Thanks, thanks for that. Um, that's John Hammond. And that's also me? That's what you need? I'm only offering perspective. When you're trying Oop. for something, you want to achieve it. Especially something you've dreamt about your entire life. Um, it's not the goal that concerns me, Dr. Sadler. It's the cost. I'm just, you know, I thought, you know, whilst uh, whilst there's an ongoing chat, I might as well take this opportunity to to put up a little bit of a little bit of a forest in front of the power station to make sure that the guests didn't uh, didn't think ill of of me having a power station out in the open. It's... Your numbers are looking excellent. Ooh, brilliant! Profit per minute, three hundred seventy-one thousand. Don't mind if I diddly do. That's fantastic. Uh, sell that. Spinosauruses, why can I not extract the DNA? Presumably because we're already we're already a good chunk of the way towards towards the Spinosaurus genome. So I need to get the Compi. The Compi? I don't know. Cori Is that the Cori the Coria thingy thingy Saurus? Or is that something else completely different? Oh no, it is that's this this thing. The comp the Compsinogathorus. That's right. That's <laughs> that's absolutely not how you say it, but there you go. Okay. 
send both of the dig teams to go and do that. Also, have a little look at fossils. Just got the fossils back. Are we Spinosaurus out? I think we might actually be pretty close to, to maxing out on the Spinosaurus's, but that's completely fine. Okay, the uh, the island rating, I think that we can get the island rating up to where it needs to be if we just get the remaining uh, genome for the comp the Composaurus thing. But aside from that, what else what else can I actually what else can I actually do to improve to improve the rating? Literally just the number of dinosaurs that I have. I should get some more dinosaurs just uh, just hatching anyway. Why don't I get some stegosauruses? Stegosauruses can live with uh, viability upgraded by twenty percent. Fifty three. Can I can I increase the viability any? anymore using the genome stuff. I know I said I didn't want to get into the genome, but, uh... Oh, I don't... I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Complete genome? Brilliant. 58, 48... Well done. This is what we need more of. Yeah, I don't think there's any way that I can uh, increase the viability. Oh no, tell a lie. That's uh, that's not entirely true. There we go. Let's see if I can increase the uh, the viability any further. Don't think there is. That's grand. Let's uh, let's just let's just get out of here and let's get this Stegosaurus properly properly hatched up. There we go. Brilliant. Two Stegosauruses, Stegosauri, as I believe the. Uh, as I believe it goes. Let's go back to getting the genome for the Compsosaurus. Spinosaurus. We can just sell all of these extra Spinosaurus things. And the Comp... The Compsos... I can't even say the flipping word. But let's get all of these queued up for research ASAP. And we can sort that out. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Mr. DNA, thank you for your contributions. You're, uh, you're doing a great job, but you know what? Not sure that I, not sure that I need you that much. Anyway, let's go back to Germany and France and see if we can, see if we can get some more of the, the carnivorous dinosaur, which we are, oh, so in high demand of. And let's also wait for those stegosauruses to, to get done as well. Okay. Cool. Okay, good. I mean, nothing seems to be going on toward at the moment. No dinosaurs escaping, no hacking, uh, no issues, nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. Uh, we should probably think about getting a brand new storm defense station, because having one storm defense station that takes in all of the sort of central equipment is all good and well, but we should probably think about getting a second one over here somewhere so that we can include all of the hotels in the protection radius. Yeah, over there. That's fine. Wonderful. There we go. No power. Why have we not got any power? Just dispatch the, uh, dispatch the ranger to do what is required. A hatchling in a rival helipad was too weak to survive. That's a 69% chance. That's a 69% chance to succeed, and we failed. We failed to breed the uh, the dinosaur there. That's pretty disappointing. That's pretty disappointing, if you ask me, but... Uh, Hey-ho. Anyway, yep. Get that repaired. Brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, the weather conditions have started to pass. Please resume your... Why is there no power over here? There should be power over here. Uh, the power station... Oh, the power station is a little bit overtaxed at the moment. Is there any way that I can upgrade the power station? Outage protection. Improved output 2. Sure. Reduced upkeep 2. Let's get that installed as well. And let's get another improved output as well. Brilliant. 
24 unused power, we shouldn't have any issues. We need to make sure that we keep on top of our power situation. I mean, we all know how badly wrong uh, an island, an island, a, a Jurassic island without power can be. Uh, it, it could end, could end bad, could end real bad. Right. Get some more of this Compi, Compisosaurus thing. Get that all sorted. Wonderful, looking good. Stegosauruses must be almost done. Well, one of them is almost done. Hopefully it makes it all the way to maturity. And we're able to stick it into the uh, the area with the Triceratops. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine with the Triceratops, right? I hope, I hope it'll be fine with the Triceratops. Current sale value, $19,000. Only $19,000? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The value of dinosaurs just must be higher. I'm sorry. There's no way that dinosaurs only sell. Triceratops as well. There's no way that they only sell for $19,000. It's frankly ridiculous. Alright. Let's give it a shot. And let's see if we can try and get some more, uh, some more dinosaurs, eh? Stegosauri. Let's do... Another one of those. Brilliant. Here it comes. Transported by helicopter, which I'm not entirely sure is uh, appropriately rated to carry the load that it's being required to carry. 3.4 out of 5 stars. Maybe as soon as it touches down, it's going to hit 3.5. It's the best Jurassic Park in the entire world. I, honestly, the cheek of just rating me 3.4 stars at the moment. I, I'm literally the only dinosaur park in the entire world. I mean, how ridiculous is that? Right, you're lonely. Well, that's okay. If you're, uh... If your friends hadn't died in incubation, then uh, then you wouldn't be so lonely right now. So blame uh, blame the scientists. Feeder needs resupply. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Don't worry. En route to top up feeder. Don't worry about it. There we go. Getting that all sorted. Brilliant. Let's have a little look at what fossils have been found. Honestly, this will probably be enough, uh, Cosmo... Comp... 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 to get us over the line. There you go. I said it. I said it. Okay, cool. How's the feeder? Feeder being refilled? Uh-oh. Watch the... Watch the dinosaur. It's crossing the track. There we go. Get a move on. No. Keep going. Don't get run over. Alright. Well, I like that I'm putting in new attractions. Even though I don't really have to, I guess. I mean, getting new attractions before I'm required to get the Compasosaurus is, uh, is good. Let's request the Stegosaurus. Where is the Stegosaurus living over here? Living near the water, let's put one down nearby. Let's uh, let's hatch another Stegosaurus, shall we? Let's get some into an enclosure and make sure they have access to. Okay, five Compthosauruses. Keep it coming. I won't patronize you with this. Just make sure our income remains healthy and we'll be doing fine. Sure, absolutely. I mean, we're basically there already, so uh, I feel like I'm in a pretty good state of income, really. Yeah? Can't really complain about that. Also, if we're gonna put together a brand new enclosure, how big, how big do the, uh, how big do the fences need to be? Can we just get away with using small ones? In order to make our, uh, in order to make our brand new enclosure? I mean... Why have... Why have small fences when you can have large electrified fences, which make everyone feel more secure? I mean, come on. These are dinosaurs that we're talking about. Okay, where are my uh, where are my feeders that need to be uh, that need to be refilled? Ah, brilliant. Okay, well, let's go about constructing the brand new enclosure. The brand new enclosure for the the Compsiosaurus. Yeah, let's make it just over here, shall we? I think we'll make it, I think we'll make it right over here. 
Where does it connect? Where does that fence connect to the wall over there? Brilliant. Wonderful. Exceptional. Majestic. Yep, there we go. And then just right the way to the back of the map. There we go. Just to make sure there's no way for these carnivores to escape. Because carnivores tend to like the taste of human flesh. That's uh, it's just a sad reality. Carnivorous dinosaurs, that is. Not not carnivorous humans. That would be uh, that would be cannibalism. And that's not what I'm interested in. Uh, nor interested in talking about, actually. For the sake of, uh, of YouTube monetization policy. Right, Stegosaurus. Let's get our third Stegosaurus in there. Uh, how are you doing? Still low on the social. Still low on the socials. You guys need to get on Instagram or something. I don't know. Well, that's the third Stegosaurus. Let's try and get another Stegosaurus, shall we? Honestly, I'm kind of astounded at how unbelievably cheap it is to... Uh, that was the wrong thing to do. How unbelievably cheap it is to, wrong, uh, to run a park that has literal dinosaurs in. I mean, I get that I am making a ridiculous amount of money. It's all good and well, but... Uh, do you feel like I should be making more? I feel like I should be making a little bit more money. And also, this should be costing me a heck of a lot more money. Oh well, you know. Not much that I can do about that, is there? Not much that I can do about that at all. Right, Stegosaurus is still a little bit low on the socials. Still a little bit low on the socials. That's, that's completely fine, though. Right, so that's two more Stegosauruses that we're working on, and then we can get to the uh, the Compsosaurus. Which I'm sure is the absolute incorrect way of saying it, but, I mean, whatever. Let's do a few more digs for the uh, for the genome of the Compsonagathar thingy. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Double contract complete. Easy peasy. You blew up that contract like dynamite. Yeah, no one would make those jokes. Come on. Like, who doesn't take this, this role seriously? You're literally recreating dinosaurs. Come on. Like, don't be faffing around. Uh, I want to get this park complete, uh, this enclosure completely ready for, uh, for the impending arrival of the, uh, the Compsiosauruses. So I'm just going to clean it out, just get rid of all of the, uh, all of the, the nonsense. There we go. Wonderful. And we will populate it with, uh, with whatever the requirement of the dinosaur actually is once it arrives. Also, I've just noticed that we've got a Stegosaurus ready for delivery. Let's stick a Stegosaurus into the enclosure. Brilliant. Right, let's try incubating and making a Compi, Compi, Compiosaurus. There we go. 100%, 100% viability. All right. Cool. Oh my goodness, look at the speed of this one. That is incredible. Okay, great. Well, we just need to get five. Uh, food and water. I can just about sort out water right now. There we go. That's probably enough water. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what they need in a sec. How are the Stegosaurus is doing in terms of uh, in terms of socializing? Uh, they're close. They're still lonely though, so their comfort is is not as high as it needs to be. Population is right about where it needs to be though, so that's pretty darn good. I think the the social the socializing bar can be. Uh, you know, it probably could be in the correct range if the if that specific Stegosaurus had chatted to more of its friends recently. But uh, but it hasn't, so that's fine. Uh, the Compsiosaurus is ready to go. Let's immediately get it down into the uh, into the enclosure that it needs to be in. Let's get another one of these guys. Cool. And we're going to need to sell all of these bits and bobs, but that's totally fine. We've completely, 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 completely 
uh, dug up all of the bits and bobs that we actually need, but that's fine. Prevent any power outages for occurring for 10 continuous minutes. And that's going to make uh, Dr. Grant happy and Dr. Ellie Sattler happy. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I, I, I mean, why can't we just, why can't we just count the last 10 minutes? Because that would be more than, that would be more than acceptable. Anyway, where's the, where's the Compiosaurus? Is it in the, is it in the park? Is it in the, it, it, it's in. Brilliant. Okay, what do you need? You need just basically a tiny little bit of forest. Oh my goodness, these things are tiny. These things are absolutely tiny. They are minuscule. Actually, quite adorable. Uh, sure. Get a little bit of forest. Stick it at the back. Okay. How about that? I can't even. I can't even find them. That's probably enough forest for you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Totally fine. All right. Well. Um, well, you're completely content. You're running underwater right now. You're not an underwater creature, though. You're a you're an on land creature. But who am I? Who am I to tell you what to do? All right, let's get some more some more Compiosauruses. There we go. Brilliant. Just like that. Very very easy. Uh, the dinosaurs should be, I mean, absolutely visible. I believe, yeah. Look at this. Look at all of look at all of this. There is a there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of stuff that can be seen, especially when you get up and close into the enclosures. There should be absolutely no issues to see uh, to see everything. The one thing that I do worry about a little bit is the uh, is the Spinosaurus. That seems a little bit obscure, and there's only two of them as well. There's only two of them, but um, but I don't really think that much can be done about that. I'm afraid, uh, because I don't. If I think if we were to put any more into that enclosure, then uh, then we'd have a capacity issue, and we'd have uh, we'd have fighting animals, uh, fighting fighting beasts, fighting dinosaurs. So I'm I'm keen to ensure that that does not happen. Okay. Ceratosaurus. I want to get one of those things. They look they look cool as anything. Also, one of these guys. They look pretty cool. You look a little bit derpy, my dude, but that's okay. Don't we all from time to time? Queue up some more digs. That's grand. And food. Oh yeah, we need to we need to see what food uh, these dinosaurs actually require. Can't even can't even see them. Darn things. Right, you literally just require you literally just require the uh, the regular. The regular, the regular carnivore feeder. I mean, honestly, fine. I'll put it near the front. That's probably a good idea, just in general, for uh, for the feeding things. I should put them up near the fence. Right. Let me uh, let me ditch that feeder right there. Yeah, ditch that feeder right there, and then stick in stick in a feeder right up near the fence over uh, over here. Eh. There we go. So that uh, so that we see all of the all of the feeding up close, up close and personal. Right, one more compthsomosaurus, and that will be our five, I believe. I'm sure, dinosaurs can access food. Brilliant, we've got the food. Also, we need to get gates. We need to get gates into. We need to get gates into the two enclosures. One enclosure right over there. And one enclosure can have a gate right over there. Just need to make sure that we're able to access them all at all times. Otherwise, uh, we're not going to be able to refill the feeders whenever it's uh, whenever it's required. But uh, but that's completely fine. Almost done with the Compsonogathosaurus over here. I can't even say it. I don't even want to attempt to say it. A Cosphic Nace... A Cos... A copsignathus. A copsignathus. A copsignathus. A cop... A copsignathus. Who even? I, I don't even want to... I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Uh, you probably aren't even going to be able to see the dinosaurs because of the... Because of the big metal beam at the bottom. But, um, but that is what it is. Okay, capacity. Do we really need... Do we really need more hotels? I think we actually do need more hotels. 
Park overcrowding is 14%. Well, let me... Let me get another one. Because our hands aren't full enough with walking and crawling dinosaurs, now you want dinosaurs that fly? They're reptiles, actually. And just imagine what it would be like to witness them taking flight within a secured enclosure, of course. Now, I just need to find a cabot. He seems to have flown the coop. Which these dinosaurs, um, sorry, reptiles, can never do, like ever. And you know that for a fact, right, John? A secured Avery, Dr. Mount. Quite right. What goes in, stays in. But, John, what exactly goes in? I guess in? we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. And you know what? We'll have to wait and see in the next episode. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. This doesn't really feel... This doesn't really feel like a, like an entire episode. I feel like I've absolutely just blasted right through uh, right through this uh, right through this campaign. I mean, ever since the, uh, the whole... You know, separate the separate the Stegosaurus's uh, mission, which is you know still leaving me with a bad taste in my mouth. I feel like I've just accelerated, and things have gotten real good and spicy. But anyway, ladies and gents, and dinosaur enthusiasts, thank you very very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obadiah Potato. Thanks as ever to my fantastic patrons who help make videos like this possible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.